Okay, Andy here with the uh, request on the video of how to set up ZPanel. I've already got it started up here with the, uh, I've already downloaded ZPanel 5, the latest stable release, and I've got the EXE running right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started. You're going to hit next. You're going to accept the uh, license agreement. You're going to hit next. Now, uh, if you're behind a router, definitely take note of this right here um, because you need to open these ports for your Apache, MySQL, and FileZilla to be able to get through. Also take note on the HML because uh, you'll need to set that up as well and right here's the instructions on how to do it but I'll be showing you. So what we're going to do is hit next and then we're going to hit install. Okay, um, I went ahead and skipped forward a little bit so you didn't have to wait for the full install. Now what's going on here is it's getting ready to set up your data. Um, your password and everything. Now, this is where you enter your uh, name. You just follow the, uh, the instructions here, if I can follow them correctly, and do as it asks. And every time you enter it, just push enter again. Uh, then right here, you'll put your email in. If I can enter mine right. And you're gonna push enter. Now this right here is how you're gonna set what you want your domain to be. I, I suggest that you make a C name under your DNS to point to ZPanel, such as let's say your domain is uh, hosting. Let's just use that. I would put ZPanel.hosting.com for your uh, as a C name to point towards your uh, ZPanel. So mine is uh, ZPanel dot tech man hosting and uh, that right there will point to my Z panel this right here now take note of this you definitely want to write this down I've created a little uh, document here so that I can uh, I already have everything ready uh, if I can do this correctly, move that there, and then we'll minimize that like that. Okay, now, um, I already had one written down here because, like I said, I, this is my second install. But uh, your username for your MySQL is always root, and then you're gonna take note of your password right here and write it down, which is. And don't take note of mine because I'm going to be reinstalling after I get done with this video. So you're not going to get that lucky. Okay. And then your uh, ZPanel login, your default username is always ZAdmin. And then you want to go over here and uh, take note of your password for ZPanel admin account. And uh, we're going to do that real quick. Double check it, make sure I got it right. Okay, after that's done, you can go ahead and uh, save this. I save it to my desktop under your know, text folder so I'll know where all my info is. And then you come back over here and you just push enter to continue. Now, this right here is installing Apache as a service and my SQL, and it'll take it a second to start doing this. But once it's done, um, it's going to pop up right here as you see and uh, you want to click yes install a service yes as auto start and yes start server this is going to do everything it needs to do and this is just telling you that it's working at least I hope that's what's telling me and there we go now from here, you would click yes to restart your computer so the services can get restarted. But I'm not going to do that to uh, spare some time. So we'll click no. So I would suggest you do that. Now, next, I'm going to show you how to uh, install your uh, 
HTML. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your C drive, Z panel, third party, and then the HTML server. And yes. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that now. You're going to go next. I accept. Next. Uh, you're going to browse to your Z panel location. You're going to go to uh, your bin and then click HTML. And by default, it'll put add HTML, HTML. And delete that last HTML and just leave it like so, as you see. And you can click OK. Click Next. Next. You're going to click Use External Database Engine. And click Next. Next. And then click Install. And then I'm going to pause it again so you don't have to set through all this. Okay. Um, got halfway through the install. Now it's popped up the database setup. What you're going to do from here is you're going to click Next. Create a new HTML database. And you click Next. And you click My SQL. Next. Now what you're going to do is you're going to leave it right here. You're going to go back over here to your... Uh, cPanel directory. Go to bin, mysql, bin, and then you're going to copy the lib mysql dll. You go back, go to your HTML folder, go to its bin, and paste. Okay, you can exit out of that now. Now, your uh, database server address should be localhost. Uh, your database name will be get this correctly now Z panel underscore HML H M A I L. Now your username, like I said, is always root. And I can't remember my password. I'm gonna go ahead and copy my password for my root. I'm going to click paste. Next. Uh, you can use MySQL if you want as a service to rely on. I don't. Just don't like it like that. And click next and next. And then what it's doing is it's creating the database. And it shouldn't take long. It's going to start the server. You're going to click close. It's going to say it's completed. Now from here you're just going to put in any password you want. Uh, Put mine in real quick. And then you click next. And I'd uncheck that because you really didn't need it. And you click finish. That is how you uh, install ZPanel. And I'm going to show you real quick that it works. And I've got zpanel.techman hosting.co.cc, which I use for my ZPanel. And it will load, and voila, you put in your username, your password, and there you go. I hope this helped you all out. Any questions or comments, let me know. Have a good day.